Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Sunday Night Golf Show on Alex Elite Golf. This is kind of a brand new part of the golf show where we're going to have people who are golf sports stars, sports stars throughout the industry, and we do interviews, and they're going to carry out loads of different challenges. But tonight is announcing the giveaway, the head-to-toe winner of the Puma outfit. So really excited to share that with you. But before we do that, we're going to run through my new golf club. So if any of you follow me on um, Instagram, you'll have seen last night my stories with me sent on my Cobra Connect, uh, going through all the golf clubs and unpackaging it all. So I'm like a kid in a sweet shop, to be honest. So let me know, actually have a comment, guys. What clubs are you gaming at the moment? Down in the comment section, what clubs are you gaming? And I'm going to show you what I am using. So really excited to share this with you, as well as announcing the giveaway at the end of this video. But we're going to be live for about 10 minutes. And don't forget, guys, there's this giveaway tonight, so the full heads to outfit, but there's also the chance to win those waste management hats. Now, they're limited edition. So if you want to find out how you win them, I'll give you more information at the end of this. So go on, guys. Give me a comment down below. Let me know if you're here, for one, most importantly. Say hello. But also, what clubs are you gaming at the minute? What brand, what model, and what shafts have you got? Give me a comment down below and let me know what you're using. And we're going to do what's in the bag, a little preview of what I am actually gaming throughout the whole set, from the wedges, drivers, hybrid, and my cutter as well. Um as well as a gold ball, we'll talk about gold ball as well. So go on, guys, give me a comment down below. Let me know if you're here. Just before we get into giving you kind of a little preview about what I'm actually using my bag, and if you've already seen, if you watched my Instagram stories last night, um, the Sunday night show, which is what this is going to be called from now on, is going to be interviewing sports stars, golf people, people across the internet that all have one thing in common. They all play golf. So give me the amount of interviews about their life, but also they're going to carry out some certain challenges I'm going to have a scoreboard and where these guys are going to be basically going to compete to be king of the Sunday night golf show or queen, for a matter of fact. Might give you a little clue there. We've got other people coming on here, coming on the show, which I'm really excited to share with you. But without further ado, go on, guys. Give me a comment down below. Let me know if you're here and let me know what clubs you are gaming at the minute. Let's start with my wedges. So I have gone for 58, 54, 50 and the pitching wedge set. And if you not don't know already, I've gone for one length clubs as well so i have gone for the cobra king cobra wedges and i've gone 58 degree wedge and i've also gone for this on here i've gone for eight degrees of bounce in my 58 degree wedge and this is it here nice black finish to them really really like the kind of stealth look i've gone for throughout the kind of shaft they've gone amt tour shafts so black shaft to match and when you put them down they look really stealth and really nice now as long as I can remember playing golf kind of competitively, so and throughout my amateur career, kind of thing, I use Lankin golf grips, and I've actually stuck with them as well in here. Um, different kind of blend. I've usually gone for the white and black. Now they're all black. These ones as well. So kind of a few different changes that I've gone for. But my fifty-eight degree wedge, there is that black on black, really nice stealth look to him. Um, I'll just show you my fifty as well. Um, what wedges do you, you guys? I game 58, 54 and 50 as my kind of specialist wedges. Give me a comment down below and let me know what wedges you're gaming at the minute. So I'll show you my 50 here as well. So my 50 degree wedge, again, I've gone all black. It's all going to be a common theme here when we're going through my set of clubs. They're all kind of very stealth looking, um, kind of flush and nice and nice looking there. Brand new grooves. Not actually hit them yet. Uh, I'm actually heading up to Turnbury tomorrow. Uh, do some interviewing with some special guests, which I'm really excited as well. Um, I'm actually going to be able to get on the golf course and actually have a few hits with them tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. Bit of practice myself, but actually getting to test these actually on the golf course. And again, AMT Tour Shafts X100s in my wedges as well with the Cobra Connect on the end. Uh, I set them up last night. I'm interested to see what that Cobra Connect is like when I'm actually using it on the golf course. So you've seen there, I've gone 58, 54 and 50 in my wedges with AMT Tour Shafts X100s. Um, all black grips, black shafts and black heads, really kind of stealth looking. So let's let me know if you're on here, guys. Let me know. Say hello if you're uh, on here and what, what you're using. Perfect. So you've got 52, 58 and 60s. Fantastic. Welcome, everybody. Um, Cobra F8 Woods, one length irons. John, yes, I have gone one length irons. And I've gone AMT shafts. Really, really like them when I was testing them. So very, very excited to use these. We've kind of got a, a bit of a mix of people, what you what kind of wedges you use. I, I, I've always used those kind of gaps in my wedges. I've always gone 58, 54, and 50. A lot of people kind of maybe carry two, carry 60, maybe even a 64. Let me comment down below if you're using 64 there. Welcome, everybody, if you're watching. So what we're doing right now is running through, we've gone through my wedges. We're about to go through and look at my irons that are all one length. 
Um, and then we're going to look at my drivers and hybrids and just talk a little bit about what I've got in my bag at the minute. We're going to announce the giveaway winners and we're going to give you kind of some more information about what else is coming up in the next few weeks at Alex LA Golf. So without further ado, let's, since they're all based on a 7 let, let let's get, let's start with the 7 iron. So I have gone for the Forge Tech. Now, the one thing I actually really like about these, I know from when you're putting them down, you don't see this when you're actually playing with them, but it's this kind of like blue line. On the black, I think it really makes it pop, and I really like that look on there. So give me a thumbs up, guys, if you like the look of these. What irons are you using? I'm using these ones here. Let me know what you're using. Give me a comment down below here. So one thing I really like from the back is that blue line. I know it's kind of a quite specific thing, but it really looks fresh to me. It really sticks out, and I really like that. Um, and then I've gone for the black face. And one thing that actually when you put the golf club down, which I really like in terms of alignment, is this white line. You probably can't see it very well there, but this white line, when I put it down, really gives me an instinct whether I've got that club square or depending on what shot I want to play, depending on my admit at the face. But it really gives me a good and like a good initial thought when I'm putting it down about how that is and what what, what whether I've got that club in a good position. So Josh, um, do you still get the same distance as one length? So give you kind of a bit of background. Before I went and got fitted for my one length irons with Cobra, I actually not was against them, but I was a bit like kind of skeptical about them. I wasn't sure about them. I was a bit like, oh God, they can't go as far. Well, when I tested them, they went the same distance as what I was currently gaming. So fantastic. So comparability there, fantastic. And the dispersion was five yards in. So what I mean by that is kind of say my circle was like this with my original. It was in five yards tighter on average from my wedges all the way through to the four iron. Now, the one thing I did find hard was not necessarily the shorter long irons, but the longer short irons, if that makes sense. So the short irons, my pitching wedge, nine iron and eight iron were longer than I was used to. So I find that quite hard. But yes, Josh, to answer your question, they, they all do go the same distance, um, which is which is absolutely fantastic there. Um, so just because I struggle with long four irons, so definitely, Josh, go. best thing to do is without, whenever you're looking to get a new golf clubs, go and test them. If they work, answer the question for you. You don't need me to kind of tell you how good they are. I tested them. They work for me. Um, I was actually wanting to go to kind of more graduated, but these worked out better, which is the reason why I've gone for them. So it, it's not just me going them because of what they are. I've gone for them on purpose because they're better for my game. Um, and again, so we're going to show you the shafts here. We've got AMT X100s, all black, with black grips, and then the Cobra Connect in the end. So that is a 7-iron. I'll bring you out the 4-iron here as well, just to kind of show you before we get into announcing the giveaway winner in a second. So, finally, we've got the 4-iron uh, here. All black again, nice black line. And again, looking really stealth. AMT x 100 with the black Lampkin grips. So, guys, I want to actually know what you're using. Would you actually consider one length? Give me a comment down below if you would consider it. It'd be interesting to know if you, you do like them and, and are interested in, in uh, one length irons. So, Carl, they, they look really nice. Cobra always do nice stuff, always get to made some reason. Carl, have you ever actually tried them? I'd go and actually give them a go. Um, bit of background on me again. I've, I've used Strix and Irons for a long time before I used these. Now, I was always, I when I went fittings, I always kind of went back to my kind of like my, my stable, my Strixons, but then now I've actually got something which works better, performs better, and I actually prefer the look of. The all black look looks really stealth and looks really nice behind the golf ball. The one thing I do like about the black is that it pops the white ball. I know it's a little silly thing, but I really like that. Well, and great. I think a lot of people that do go on length, and this is the thing, once you go, I think you wouldn't go back. And I think you've got to try it and actually give it a go and see what it's like. Obsessed with COVID, Craig, and I'm the same. So now this is the interesting thing in my bag. Let's talk about my one length hybrid, look at the driver, and then let's get on with announcing this month's, oh, sorry, this month's, we've done four giveaways this month, this week's giveaway winner, which we've already selected through the random name. Right, so this is my one length hybrid. So going back to 7.9, this is the same length as a 7.9. Now it's a slightly over, oversized head. Weight's a little bit further back and low, helps get the ball in the air. So again, if you're talking about trying to get the same distance, this is the same as the 7-9, this accounts for that. Basically, what how Cobra have done it is they've, they've compensated throughout them with, in terms of technology in the head to make sure the golf ball can go the same distance if it was a normal hybrid. So one thing I do like about this is, is again, this blue area, blue and the black, it really like nice pops, and then you've got the speed rails for stability with the ground. 
Now, this looks really nice behind the golf ball. The oversized head look makes it look really forgiving, but also because it was smaller, it feels really easy to hit too. So it's, it's really kind of an easy club to hit. Um, the thing I call it is my little gentleman's persuader. Is I feel like I can hit it everywhere out of the rough, thick rough. I can hit it hard and it's soft. And it, I feel because it's shorter, it's a very workable club. And that's really important for me. So, guys, any more questions? So, what length is the same? They're, they're all the same length as a 7 eye. Now, if you're getting fitted for them, my 7 eye length might be the same as, as, as yours. So, you might be taller than me. So, your 7 eye length would be, might be half an inch longer or two inches longer, or you may be shorter to so half an inch shorter. So, everything is still custom fitted. You're custom fitted for a 7 eye. And then they adjust the length. The length is the same for a five iron, but then if you go half an inch longer, everything will be half an inch longer. So it's all compensated to you. And that is a thing. You can still get custom fit for a one length set of irons. So, right, we've done the wedges, we've done the irons, done the hybrid. Let's have a quick look at the driver before we announce the giveaway winner, which I'm really excited to announce. Full head to toe outfit, look like Ricky, and he's doing well this evening. So it's even better. But before we look at the driver here, Let's just remind you guys that there's this giveaway tonight, which the winner has already been selected. All the names that did enter have gone into a hat on a random name adjudicator, and you press a button and it gives you a name that we're going to win. But also, there's a chance to win the waste management hats, okay? Waste management hats, limited edition on my channel now on Instagram and Twitter. Find out how you can win them. Fantastic. I mean, I'm jealous. I, I, want, to, I want to pair myself. So let's have a look at the driver. F9 Speedback Driver. Now, this has got a lot of fantastic reviews. A lot of people across the internet, a lot of pros, a lot of a lot of people who have tested it are basically saying this is the driver to beat this year in terms of price point, but in most importantly, in terms of performance. Now, I actually saw my clubhead speed go up three miles an hour. Got a good shaft, which matches, but then the head, the aerodynamicness on the bottom and on the top with the fins getting me three miles an hour club speed which is the reason why i hit it further and you want to see the full video there guys actually link down below will be down there later for a full link to my fitting video for the driver so i think the mixed people are i think the pe things that people get mixed about with this driver is this yellow here so this is also available in white but i've gone with the yellow i really like the fact that it pops off it must be like bumblebee some people say but for me i like the look of it makes it pop now the thing i have done with this to make it perfect for me and this is the thing we did during the fitting I have actually, this is a 10.5 degree driver with a hazardous smoke 6.5, 60 gram shaft, brand new shaft on the market. But I have actually lofted this up one degree. So I've gone up to 11 and a half degrees, which might sound a lot. But then what I've done is here, I've moved this red weight to the front and the black weight to the back. So these actually come the opposite way around. I flip them. So what this does is this moves a heavier weight to the front. So moving the center of gravity closer to the face. So Moving it further back makes the club a little bit more forgiving, but would increase backspin. So I've moved the heavier weight closer to the face to reduce backspin, but then I've lofted it up. So again, look, talking about those impact factors, we're getting hopefully going to achieve that high launch and low spin. And Gov's turn be this week. I'm really just to test that in the wind as well and maybe have a little bit of a fiddle. I mean, it might not be the setting I finish on, but it's definitely the way I'm going to start with in terms of what I was getting great numbers on the golf course and when I was getting fitted were originally. Um, it, it looks so good, doesn't it, Daniel? I mean, it looks good from here, from a point of view. Then down behind the golf ball, I really like this thing. This this The little cobra side on top you can see here. In terms of getting the ball centred at a dress, fantastic. And the middle face as well to match. So without further ado, before we get on to kind of announcing the giveaway, which you've already selected, tomorrow I'm heading up to Turnbury. So up, in, up, up at Turnbury, I'm going to be filming lots of content going forward for the next few months. But also, I'm actually doing an interview with a special guest. I will, I will reveal more of that tomorrow and ask, get you to ask me some questions to ask this person. Now, I'm really excited to share you this. He's got a connection to a latest winner on the European Tour. He's got a latest connection to someone who plays Cobra Clubs. Are the kind of few giveaways and uh, I've given you there. Um, potentially, it could be. So give me a comment down below who you think that could possibly be. So, Darren, hi, Alex. Um, I did see the Cobra fitting. Was, what impressed me was your ball striking. Thank you, Darren. Um, I don't get to play as much as I'd like to play, but um, hopefully I can play a little bit more this year. I'm looking to play probably about 15, 20 events, just local things, around filming and around teaching, most importantly, and creating some good content for you guys. But yeah, up in Turnbury, um, exciting special guest. There'll be a post up on my Instagram tomorrow getting you to ask me a few questions about what you could ask this person. But remember, the two things are, they've got a link to the latest win on the European Tour, and that person the link is with plays Cobra Clubs. That is the only link. Right. 
So without further ado, let's announce this week's winner of the full head to toe outfit. So everyone that entered across all social media platforms, everybody went into a random name adjudicator. It gave us, drum roll please, we do this every Sunday night. Um, let me find the app now. So drum roll please. So the winner is, good luck everybody again. Thank you for entering if you have entered. The winner is from Instagram. It is Luke Wallace. So congratulations to Luke Wallace. And his Instagram handle is Luke Wallace 87 Fantastic. Well, well done, Luke. Um, you've got the full head to toe outfit. So you've got shoes, trousers, top, belt. Fantastic. Well done. And a hat as well. So you're going to look exactly like Ricky now. You're going to have the black trousers, the yellow top. It's a, such a cool outfit. I can't wait to get mine of that. Um, you're going to look sharp on the golf course. So again, the winner of this week's Prize. The full head to toe outfit is Luke Wallace 87, and that is from Instagram. Luke Wallace 87, congratulations. So, thank you for tuning in tonight. Just going to give you a quick summary about what's going to be coming on the Sunday Night Golf Show in the future. If you didn't tune in from the start, basically, we're going to have people on the Sunday Night Golf Show, sh sh show who are either in the golf industry themselves, they're celebrities who play golf, or they're on the internet and they play golf. So, People that are basically one thing in common, they're all going to play golf. And we're going to do interviews with them about their life, but also we're going to do little things about challenges. We're going to have a leaderboard where they can be king or queen of the golf show on the Green Club. I know Cobra Clubs, but we're going to match um, the fantastic. Congratulations to uh, Luke Wallace, 87, on the winner of the full head to toe outfit. Don't forget, you can still win. If you didn't win that, guys, you still can win the limited edition waste management hats. So you can enter that on my Twitter and on my Instagram. That has to be done before 11.30 this evening, but there'll be another post going out, so don't miss that. Once again, thank you for the support. Don't forget to kind of tune in, check out all my latest videos, and also check out the video that I just posted earlier at 7 o'clock this evening. It was all about the two power moves in the goal swing, and I had Marcus on. He's a professional, just got his challenge door card, really exciting career ahead of him. And he talks through his two moves, which give him the best feeling for creating long drives. So hopefully you can take that feeling and take that kind of know-how and apply it to your game. Thank you for watching tonight's show and see you next time on Alex Elliott Golf.